How dangerous is Israel? All right, well, I've lived here in the country of Israel for 12 months now. And I've been here um, actually over 12 months. I got here on the 7th of January, 2018. It is now the 18th of January, 2019. So I've been here just over a year, about 10 days and so, and I do not feel at all that Israel is a dangerous place to go. I would highly recommend coming to Israel. And this isn't like breaking news, but um, definitely, definitely come out and check out this country. It is way, 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 way safer than my home city of Chicago, Illinois. And if you know me from back in Illinois and Chicago, I'm not from the city of Chicago. I'm from the like super, super, super far suburbs. I'm pretty sure that where I'm from is like the furthest suburb of Chicago, if you can even count it as a suburb of Chicago. So if it is, I am on the edge of like the country and the furthest suburb, like the end of the, the train line or one of the train lines. But anyway, um, technically I'm from Chicagoland, Illinois. And in Chicagoland, uh, I spent I spent a lot of time in Chicago because it's like an hour train ride or something. Um, and in Chicago, it is way more dangerous than Israel. The population of Israel is about, I want to say, 8.2 million um, as of this year, uh, or 2018, and Chicago is, I think, 8.7 million. So there's a few more people in Chicago, but uh, all of Chicagoland. The center of Chicagoland is like 2 point something million, but if you count all the suburbs, all of Chicagoland adds up to about, I want to say, 8.7 million. But the amount of people that get shot in Chicago per year is, in Chicago there's much, much more crime when it comes to violence versus Israel. Yes, in Israel there is, you know, like fights at the border with Palestine and this and that and rocket attacks here and there, but like a lot of the rocket attacks get shot down and uh, not that many people get hurt. Like since I've been here, I've heard of maybe like five or so people that may have died or got hurt because rockets hit the home or whatever but in chicagoland every single day anywhere from i want to say it's eight to eleven people get shot per day i think it was 2013 or 2014 the last statistics i read about chicagoland and it was like 3,000, like 400 or something people that year got shot and if you do the math and divide that by 365 it's around, I think, nine to 10 people. So on average, in one day in Chicagoland, it's obviously, obviously South Chicago, not the safer areas, obviously, but in one day in Chicagoland, more people get shot than in a year of all of Israel. And, and there might be more than 10 people who get shot a year in Israel, but I've only heard of one shooting, and it was very recently, like a few months ago, in Tel Aviv, um, but, Nothing compared to Chicago. It's crazy how much safer I feel in Israel versus Chicago. At night, kids at like one or two in the morning will be out playing in the street. You feel, I mean, I'm, and I am in a smaller town, but you feel super safe here. When you first get here, you're like, oh, I'm in the desert. You know, I'm really cautious and whatnot. But once you get to know the people, once you get to know the vibe, once you kind of figure out and you have a few conversations and, um, you know, you get to know, you've lived here for a year or so, I mean, that's how long I've lived here. You get to know that, okay, this place is a lot safer than, and you know, I thought it, I thought it was gonna be. And I know I mentioned I've been here for a year. I have been traveling a little bit to other places, but this year I've been saving a lot so that way I can travel for six to hopefully nine months, maybe full time if I can um, get a little bit of fun to go on, you know, if I can, if I can sell some product or, uh, these videos can go um, go a little bit, get more successful, get some more traction, or if um, my stocks videos. So if I can, if I can basically, if I can produce more income online, then I will be able to do what I, I love doing full time, and that is traveling and taking you guys along with me, teaching you guys how to travel, and showing you how cheap and how easy it is to travel, um, and just all the different stories and adventures along the way. I mean, traveling is my life.
I know I'm getting off topic from Israel, but if you guys did like this video, please like, subscribe, and comment. Um, and check out some more videos on Israel and some cool travel vlogs and whatnot. But anyway, get Israel, if you want to come out here, totally do it. Uh, it is not as dangerous as people say it is. Um, I'm sure, you know, if worst case, you know, stuff can happen anywhere you go, there is possibility for uh, accidents or certain things to happen. But if you do your research, you know where to go and you compare it to, let's just say Chicago and Israel, like we were talking about earlier, it is way, way safer than Chicagoland. And I would highly recommend coming here. Um, besides the fact that it is a little expensive, super great place. I would love to spend more time here, but I will be uh, sadly having to say goodbye here pretty soon. By the time this video posts, I will already be traveling, going around. I think I'll be in Hawaii or the Philippines, but if you guys wanna see some videos on that stuff, stay tuned, subscribe, and I'll catch you guys later. This is NST, never stop traveling. Peace out.